Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to talk to you about a Twitter app called Tweetcaster, um, which is my Twitter app of, of choice. Um, although there are uh, a lot of different uh, apps out there for Twitter and a lot of what is going to be best for you just depends on your style and how you use it and what you use it for. But uh, Tweetca Tweetcaster is a, a really great one. I love it. I like the way it works, I like the interface, the look of it, um, and the features. So let's uh, hop on my phone and uh, I'll show you all it can do and why I like it so much. Here you have your little Tweetcaster uh, app icon. Little bird with big eyes. So we're going to tap that and that takes you into Tweetcaster. Um, it opens up automatically to your... Uh, uh, last Twitter uh, or your Twitter feed um, as you can see and it shows me when it was last updated and so here you can drag and drop and not drag and drop but drag up and down and see all your Twitters as you can see the majority of my Twitter feed has to do with Android stuff from different Android news places but uh, anyway this is your Twitter basically your Twitter timeline if you want to call it that it says all the tweets that you are subscribed to from people you are following. If you want to see tweets where you've been mentioned, then you click the add button and you'll see tweets we've been mentioned. You can see this tweet up here is uh, from the review I did of App Sales. Uh, even before I let them know I did that review, they found it and uh, they uh, uh, tweeted nice uh, App Sales video review by Hollywood Photo. So there you go right there. and. Uh, if you go to mail, then you, that's where people have sent you messages directly through Twitter. The star is favorites, but I don't have any favorites because I just don't understand why anyone would favorite a tweet, but some people do. And if you are one of those people, then you have that option right there. And then at the end, you have a, a, a list feed. And this is where you can use Tweetcaster Smart List and add a list as Taylor made your interest. Obviously I have no list because I don't use that feature but uh, it is a feature that is there for you. If you click the menu button you'll see you can use this to jump to the top of your feed to refresh, uh, update, you can uh, click people and that will take you into all the people that you are subscribed to. You can, uh, well besides that this is following, you could also click followers and see all the people who are following you. And if your name isn't on here and you want to follow me, you can. Uh, as you might would guess, my, my Twitter name is at Hollywood Frodo. Um, let's see, you can filter your tweets. You can filter by uh, certain, if you're looking for certain words that are in the tweets, you can search that way. Oops, I hit go back instead of cancel. Um, you can go into your settings. Now this is cool. Customize. Personalize Tweetcaster. So you can personalize. You have different themes. Uh, dark bubbles, light bubbles, dark, light. Obviously I'm using the dark theme. And uh, you guys know I love customization so I love that you can do that. Mentions color. So this is only if you are using the dark or light theme then you can set a custom color for the mentions. As you saw my mentions were that kind of rustic red color. My tweets color Again, only works for dark and light themes. You can have a separate color for your tweets. You can choose your uh, font size. You can display full names if you want. URL action. I have it set so when I click a URL that's in a tweet, it asks me what I want to do. But you can uh, just automatically have it open that in a browser or copy it so that you could then paste it in a browser. And then date format. Um, relative or absolute. Um... You can set your language settings. You can uh, open gaps from top or the bottom. I have from top external services. So URL shortening. This allows you so that if you type in a full web address, it'll shorten it to one of those little URLs. Um, also image service. So if you are tweeting an image, what service to handle that. Um, video service. 
Um, and then Facebook login reset. Um, this is because with Tweetcaster you can log into Facebook, and I'll show you in a second what's cool about that. Um, read later service. So you can use either Instapaper or read it later. Those are separate apps you can install, and you can use those to read things later if you want. And then auto refresh or refresh on shake. You can enable those. Um, if you select auto refresh, then you can select your refresh interval. And then send Tweetcaster logs if you want to send that back to the developers so they can see how people are using it. Um, now, if you click this little four button, that takes you to basically what I would consider the home screen. And you can see trends. So you can see uh, things that are trending in Twitter. You can see who to follow. It'll recommend, you can click any of these categories and it'll recommend people for you to follow. Search. If you want to search for someone or someone you know you want to follow, like if you want to follow me, you can just search for Hollywood Frodo and it would come up. Um, and nearby. This tries to find people who are nearby you and things they're tweeting about. Um, so that's that. There's also, uh, if you click the uh, your name, then you'll see Eric Rye at Hollywood Frodo. And it has bio information, has uh, you know my followers, has my tweets, has messages, and favorites. And then if you click settings, it'll allow you to do a new tweet or edit your profile. If you click the search button up here, it searches, so you can do that directly from up here without going into here if you want. And then probably what you're going to use this for the most, other than reading tweets, is writing tweets. Those are the two things we use them for, reading and writing tweets. So if you want to write a tweet, you click right here. Now what's cool is you see there's two little buttons up here. This one on the right is for Twitter. And this one on the left, I don't know if you can see that tiny, tiny little icon, but there you go. On the left has a little Facebook button, and on the right has a little Twitter. If I click um, that and make that green, see the little green bar underneath, then anything I enter in here to post, it's going to post to both Facebook and Twitter. If I turn the Twitter off and just have Facebook, then it's just like a Facebook update. Or, of course, which I use it for the most, is just to post to Twitter. But I think that's pretty cool that allows you to automatically dub anything you tweet over to your Facebook uh, uh, stat as a status update. Or you can just use Tweetcaster to update your status uh, on Facebook if you don't feel like going into the Facebook app. So that's a pretty cool feature. If you click the little uh, menu button over here, it allows you to add people, add a photo, add a video or add from gallery so you can add any of those things to your tweet or your post which is pretty cool um, and that's pretty much it uh, I think I covered all the settings if you click the more button then you can quick follow so you quick follow and then you just type in the name uh, if you already know for example at Hollywood photo you don't need to search for me you just know you type that in and type follow um, Twitter status and that's just what's going on with Twitter. So if they have outages or issues, they would put that there. It's basically just seeing Twitter status. And then refresh all refreshes everything and exit um, exit the application. Exits the application. Now there is, I guess I should say, there is there are two versions of Tweetcaster. At least last time I checked, there was a free version and then a pro version. And uh, this is the pro version. But there is also a free version that you can try out if you like. So that was the app Tweetcaster. Uh, as you can see, it's a, a fully functional um, uh, app for Twitter. It allows you to do pretty much anything you would want to do with Twitter. You can do it through Tweetcaster. And also has a really cool look and some cool customization options. Um, so anyway, uh, that was Tweetcaster. As always, I'm Eric with HollywoodPhoto.com. If you like this review, please click the like button. If you want to be uh, updated when new reviews come out, then please subscribe to my channel 
so you will be notified when I add uh, more reviews, which I do on a regular basis. Anyway, until next time, I'm going to remind you as always that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.